All right, so let's just start seated. Find your, you know, your comfortable seat. We want to have a nice long spine. Feet are grounded. Feet are just parallel. And we're on the tips of our sits bones or pelvis. Just feel your spine get nice and tall. And let's just take a moment. Go ahead and just kind of arrive. Let's close our eyes. Let's just feel ourselves in this space, <clears throat> in this time. Lots of nerves are high right now. To settle little break tuning into our bodies and let's just begin that tuning in by bringing our awareness to our breath just see if you can locate your breath in your body is it in the belly is it in the chest can you feel the breath coming in and out through the nose and you may notice that maybe one of your breaths is in and out the mouth. Just notice your breath and see if you can locate it in your body. And then we're going to start to do an active directed breath by taking our breath down into our belly. So let's take one hand to the low belly. <clears throat> and when the next time you breathe in, you're going to breathe in into, into the low belly and allow the belly to expand into your hand like a balloon and then when you exhale you're going to exhale and feel how the belly pulls back towards the spine and let's just do about five more breaths so we inhale imagining you're filling up the cylinder of the of the waistline of the torso so not only forward but sides and back expanding through the through the belly all sides and when you exhale feel the belly draw back Feel how the waistline maybe slightly narrows. Everything draws in towards the center. And again, inhale into the belly, filling up. And exhale. Long, deep exhale. Do two more on your own timing. Expanding. And exhaling. One more, your timing. And then just open the eyes. And let's go into a little bit of face tapping. So we're gonna wake up our bodies and our brains with a little tapping. So you're gonna take the fingertips and we're gonna to start to tap the face. And I like to Find, let's find the bones of the face. So we have the cheekbones, the jaw, and the nose and the forehead. And we're gonna tap the whole entire face. We're gonna tap for about 20 seconds. So what you'll feel here in a few moments, if not already, is that the face is gonna start to get a little warm. And keep that <clears throat> easy breath as you tap. Tapping all the whole structure of the face. Notice if there's any tension in the face. And let's take the tapping up over the head, so up and over the head to the back of the neck a couple times. So really get in there to the skull. Let's also get the sides of the head. And one more time. This next time we go up and back, stay in the back of the skull. And we're going to tap back in the back of the skull in this area called the occiput. So right where the neck comes up into the head, there's these two bony landmarks. See if you can tap right there. Kind of to the side of the <clears throat> skull. We'll tap for a few more seconds here. Good, and then bring your tapping to the front of your chest, tapping up and down the sternum and out to the collarbones. Mm -hmm. Just waking up our body through touch. And then let's do a little throat stroking, stroking down the front of your throat, front of the neck. Good. And then let's go to your belly and do some circles on the belly. So we go from above the pubic bone to those low rib area where your diaphragm is, big circles. Circle the other way. <clears throat>
good. And then let's shake our hands. Shake out your hands like you had a little bit of cold water on your hands. You're trying to shake it out. Shake it down towards the floor. Shake it forward towards me. Out to the sides. Down to the floor. Maybe the elbows get involved and the shoulders get involved. And then let it go. Just let your arms hang. Kind of feel a little maybe tingling through the body, a little bit of that awakeness. And you're going to let your arms feel nice and just hanging here from those shoulders. And we're going to ask that the shoulders get slide up towards the ears. And let that be the inhale. And on the exhale from the armpits, we're going to slide the shoulders down. Down, 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 down. Inhale, slide up. Exhale, slide down. Two more times. Inhale, slide up towards the ears. Exhale, let the shoulders slide down. One more time. Inhale, slide up. And exhale, slide down. Now we'll slide way down. Feel like there's a little bit of weight under your armpits and start to turn the palms towards me. So forward, palms towards forward, your thumbs turn back. And then turn the other way. So the palms turn back to the back of the room and the thumbs turn in and back. And then again, we turn the palms forward, thumbs turn back, opening through the arms, opening through the chest. And then we turn the other way, internally and externally rotating our arm bones. And a couple more, keeping the chest open, keep the spines tall and just feel that gentle, but mobility here. You might even feel kind of, some of us might feel a big stretch. I do in one direction. I want go in with the arms and then out. Now we're gonna stay externally rotate this time. So keep the arms open. Can you reach through those fingertips? Feel like you could expand that reach a little bit energetically, long, long, long. And let's take this reach up. We're gonna reach up to the skies. If we could get so big, we could touch that ceiling. And we almost feel here a stretch through the waistline. Can I lift my ribs now up off of my pelvis? And then we're just gonna let the arms come down. Good, reach down, stretch to the floor, feel weight under your armpits, externally rotate, start to lift up. And I'm reaching as if I could touch the sides of the room, so bring awareness to the fingertips. Inhale and inhale and inhale and inhale. Can I lift my ribs away from my pelvis? And then exhale, let it go. Last time, we externally rotate. Find that opening, chest open. Start to reach as if you could touch the sides of your room. Inhaling all the way, expanding, expanding, expanding. Can I lift the inhale up into my collarbones, up into my shoulders, stretching? And then exhale, let it go. Beautiful. Let's cross, I'm gonna scoot back a little bit. Let's go to our feet a little bit. So we're gonna cross our right foot over our left knee. And this also might create a stretch through our, our um, hip. So if we're tight, the knee might be high and that's okay. I'm just gonna to try to bring that, that uh, foot up onto the thigh here. And then you're gonna take your thumbs and we're gonna just go into our foot a little bit today and give a little foot massage. So I'm gonna take you my thumbs and I'm just pressing into my foot. I'm gonna massage all the way up to the heel and into the, underneath the balls of the feet. Mm -hmm. Getting some awareness into the bottoms of our feet. You can press in pretty good here. Don't be afraid to really press in. And then you can take the, palm, the, the palms of your hands and kind of start to spread the foot. As if the foot had two halves, you're gonna spread those two halves apart all the way, even try to get into that heel even though it's a little tough in the heel. Okay, one more time, try to spread the foot, moving through. Awesome, and then you're gonna take your left hand, spread your fingers really wide, and let's thread our fingers through our toes. This is a little bit of sensational, so I'm gonna to try to get my fingers inside my toesies, and sometimes it's kind of painful, <laughs> but it's good, we need this space in our toes. So go to, you know, it might even just be the tips of your fingers make it in there, Whatever amount, we'll just get them in there and we'll try to breathe a little bit. And then can you, once your fingers are in here, can we kind of think about spreading the fingers? So spreading, spreading the fingers apart, which will spread the toes apart. And then release it a little bit. And again, spread your fingers, like you had those toe spacers in between the, the toes. And then release and a little bit of spreading. 
and then release. And then can we grab down a little further, bringing my palm of my hand onto my foot. And I'm gonna turn the foot a little forward and back. So I'm gonna fold back and forward with my foot. <clears throat> Mobilizing this upper part of my foot, getting some stretch in those toes. Okay, one more time. And then come to neutral and we're gonna slowly, as I pull my fingers away, I wanna traction the toes. So I'm traction, I'm reaching the toes long away from me as I slide my fingers and my hand out. Good. And then just place that foot on the ground. And just see kind of as you place that foot on the ground, does it feel a little bit more connected? Does that leg feel any different? It might feel different and may, maybe, maybe not. And then bring the other leg over. Good. And then we take our thumbs and we start with this massage. So we're just kind of digging in, waking up our feet. Get in there. Notice if the side feels any different than the other side. And don't be afraid to really push into those feet. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. And then take the palms of the hands and start to spread the feet, the foot, as if you had two sides to your foot and you're gonna spread it apart. Mm -hmm. Even down to the heel. Great. And then you're gonna take your right hand, spread your fingers wide, and let's thread through. Let's get those fingers in between the toes. Oops. And this is my tighter side, so you might you know, you can, you'll feel which side's tighter for you. And we try to get our fingers as deep as we can, get some space in here. And then once we have that, we're gonna just think about separating, spreading the, the fingers apart. We try to separate and then release a little bit, spread the fingers apart and release, spread apart and release and then hold on to that top of the foot and fold a little forward and back. <clears throat> Folding forward and back. Good. A couple more times. All right, and then come back to that neutral place and see if as we slide our hands away, can we traction? Can we lengthen the toes long? and slowly start to pull out. Good. All right, now bring both feet on the ground. I'm gonna lower my camera just a tad so you can see my feet. And from here, my feet are parallel, so that means they're facing straight forward. I'm gonna push down the balls of my feet and I'm gonna lift my heels up. So we'll do this standing as well in a moment. We're gonna stay nice and tall and I'm gonna actively push the balls of my feet down and I wanna lift my heel towards my calf. So I'm actually gonna turn on my calves in a seated position. And I wanna see, can I roll through my foot and place it back down? So I have the balls of the feet, they push. So I have energy going down into the ground, feel that push as I lift the heels. And I'm gonna see, can I roll through the foot to lower it down. We're just gonna do two more. We push down. You're gonna feel your quads turn on a little bit too to lift the heels. And then we reach the heels to the floor, seeing about almost like we could articulate through that foot. One more time, pushing. Feel the heels lift up to your calves. So feel your calves turn on. And then roll through the foot. Good, I'm gonna stay here and I'll, I'll show, I'll, I'm as far as my camera. And then we're gonna move to the pelvis. So feet are grounded, hopefully they feel a little bit of alive. And now I'm gonna think about my pelvis curling under me, like I could sit to send my sits bones underneath towards my knees, creating a little bit of this roll back. And then I'm gonna come back, pelvis is gonna tilt back and I go into a little bit of extension. So I'm gonna curl tailbone under. It's as if you were gonna sit back on imaginary pant pockets. And then you're gonna take, tip those pockets up and back. Let's exhale as we see about curling that pelvis under any amount. You might feel abdominals and you might feel a little stretch in that low back. And then we inhale, easy here. Just take the pelvis the other way. Got a couple more, exhale, curl. Trying to get some mobility in our backs and a little core here. And then going the other way, tilt. 
One more time. Curl. Curl, curl, curl. Can you go a little more? Curl. Yes, a little more. And then come back up. All right. I'm going to go forward. I'm going to tip forward. So now what I want us to do is engage your abdominals. And I'm going to tip in a hinge forward. So one piece from my tailbone to my head, I'm hinging over my legs. And then I come back and I sit up nice and tall. From my head to tailbone, one piece. And then I come back up. Like you had a, a pole on your back and you're tipping that pole forward. Sorry. Yep, and you could have one hand on the sacrum, one hand on your head. If you can reach, if that's hard in the shoulders, just imagine I have a pull from my sacrum to the base of my head. I'm tipping from those two points, and then I come back in one piece. Do a few more, tip forward, pelvis and head move together. Yes, and then we come back. Beautiful, good. And this time I'm gonna tip forward a little bit. You can bring your hands either by on your chair or on your thighs. Feel your feet, my eyes look forward, and then they look up and I stand up. And to come back down, it's the hip hinge. You can reach back for your chair if you need that, that moment of like, is my chair still there? <laughs> and we sit back down. Good. And then if it felt too far, if your feet felt far away, you can bring them under you a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna hip hinge, find my feet, press down, and look up. I come down, arms can come forward, or if you need to reach back to make sure the chair is there, Sometimes that's a little scary moment, at least it is for me. <laughs> so I come forward and I stand up. Reach your pelvis back towards that chair and sit. Good, let's use our eyes. So eyes are gonna go down at first and then eyes look up and that's gonna help us stand up. And then to come down, my eyes are gonna slowly start to look down to sit down. Two more times, look down on diagonal and then look up to stand up and then come down you look slightly down to sit down. One more time, we'll stay up. So I'm gonna look diagonal, and then I stand up and stay up. Beautiful, let's stay up. Let's have our chairs near us because we're gonna do a little more balance work. We're just gonna hold on. You can, you can hold on or not, your, your choice. But we're gonna balance on the left leg and you're gonna bring your right leg to what's called a tabletop position. So it's just to this position. Okay, and then bring awareness to your foot. And give me a little ankle circle here. I'm gonna try to do a little ankle circle. And then circle the other way. Great, awesome. And then stretch your leg out straight towards me. And then bend it back in. Stretch it out straight towards me. And pull it back in. Five stretches out last time and then bends in, and now you're gonna take your thighs, gonna go behind you. So at least we wanna get knee to knee. So what, we, what tends to happen here is that I might press so much because I wanna get back there, and then I arch my back. So we wanna keep a long spine, and then can I find my thigh bone? So my thigh bone presses back, but I'm keeping lifted through the front of my body, okay? And once we're back there, hand, let's say sideways so you can see. Can I, get, can I do a little ankle circle? and then circle the other way. A little hard because the leg's behind us. What's happening back there? <laughs> All right, and then bring that leg straight forward, but it's at a low diagonal, down to the ground. Body stays tall, your standing leg's gonna get tired. You're gonna externally rotate your thigh, and you're gonna internally rotate. Externally rotate, internally rotate. Ask your body which direction is tighter. Is it in or is it out? And I want you to go to which one is tighter for you. For me, it's in. So I'm gonna go in, and then we're all, wherever you are, you're gonna take a little circle. Circle one, two, three, go the other way. One, two, three, and then place the foot down. Woo, that standing leg got work, but just stand on both legs. Is the leg you just activated feel a little longer? Maybe, maybe tired. Other leg comes up tabletop. As we go to the tabletop, can we stand right on top of our, of our right foot? Right on top. I'm not leaning back or forward or out, right on top. And then let's see if we can mobilize this ankle. So circles, 
and then circle the other way. And then stretch your leg forward, long, reach it away from the pelvis, bend it back in. Stretch it away, reach away, bend it back in. Stretch it away, reach, bend it back in, and then take your thigh bone back, not the pelvis. Pelvis stays lifted, just my thigh presses back. And I keep my body long. And in this position, give me a little ankle circle. Two, three, four. Five, other way, one, two, three, four, five. Bring your leg forward, lengthen it long. Externally rotate, internally rotate. And ask yourself which direction feels a little more tight, in or out. And then go to that position, wherever that is for you. It might be the same on the other side, but it could be different. And stay there, give me a little circle. circle one two, three, go the other way, two, three, come back to center and stand on both legs. Feet a tad bit wider, soften the knees. We're gonna do the similar motion we did when we were on the chair. So my body is gonna be long, my upper body, but my pelvis, and I curl the pelvis under me from the sits bones, from very low in the pelvis. And then can I take the tailbone and the sits bones up and back? Pelvis curls under, and then pelvis goes back. Pelvis curls under, and pelvis back. A couple more, can we move the pelvis? We might even feel a stretch to the spine. Very low, so that we can get space in our back and find these low abdominals. Find that little bit of low ab work when the pelvis comes under you. One more time. Low abs have to work a little bit to pull the pelvis under. Good. And the next time you go under, let's stay with the pelvis curled under. So we're gonna stay in that pelvic tilt. And then I'm gonna, we're gonna side bend towards the right. And we're gonna side bend from very low in the body. Can I side bend from my center versus my head? The head will follow, but we wanna side bend from the belly. And then we're gonna come back up. Reset, make sure the pelvis is under you. And be careful of your chair if it's over there. <laughs> Can we side bend from the belly button? Imagine the belly button slid over to the left and that's gonna give you a side bend. Beautiful, there we go. And then we come back up. Let's do it again, side bend from the belly. The belly slides a little bit towards the right to help me get that mobility in my spine. And then I come back up. And side bend left. Yes. And back up. Give me one more. Keep the pelvis under you. Then find your side bend. Yes. And back up. Keep the pelvis under you. Let's side bend the other way. And back up. Good, rest. Interlace your hands. We're gonna just do a little wrist prep because I wanna go to all fours. So interlace your hands and give me a little bit of a circle here. Now, my, el my elbows right now are kind of far apart, and so are all yours. So just notice that. Notice where your elbows are, and then see about those wrists. Can the wrists go kind of up and down? And then try the other direction. I'm gonna go to kneeling so you can see. <clears throat> and then you're gonna bring your elbows together. And then can we, get, can we do a little elbow, a wrist circle here? And notice that now it's a little bit more like a little piston. Notice my elbows go up and down, so do my wrists. And then go the other way. Yeah, look at, and everyone look at your wrist. Can you get one wrist to go up, other wrist to go up and up? There it is, up, up, up. Okay, push forward, stretch the hands forward. Spread the webbing of your fingers, the webbing of your hands, thumbs too. And then pull elbows sharp, elbows pull out to the sides. And push forward, stretch the webbing of your hands. And pull elbows sharp. One more time, pushing forward. This time let's push up to the sky. Now we're pushing the palms of the hands up to the sky like you could lift the ceiling. And then bring them back forward and pull apart. Good, and shake them out a little bit. Let's take the right hand forward, just flex your right fingers. 
This is a little nervy. So if it's too nervy for anyone, all you do is you just diminish your flexion, okay? So we're gonna do it, we're gonna do a stretch and nerve glide actually for our arm here. So you're gonna bring your fingertips towards your shoulder. And this is where you might feel some nerve sensation. So again, if it's too much, you just back out of it a little bit. I'm gonna slowly take my elbow out to the side and you'll pause when you feel that first sensation, a little buzz in the, in the arm. And then we're gonna bring it back to center. Just two more times. We take the elbow out, slow, you pause if it feels like it's already there, and then back. And one more time, slowly out, pause where you feel the first kind of buzz of the, of the stretch, and then come back and then shake it out. Other arm presses forward. Again, flexing the hand, but only pull the hand back so much so that it feels good. It's not too intense. And then slowly bring your fingers towards your shoulder. And then slowly bring the elbow out to the side. And then back. Good, try to keep your torso facing me. Just the elbow goes out. Better, there we go. And then back to center. One more time. And then back to center. And then down you go. Okay, we're gonna make our way to the ground. So here, we're gonna to go to our mats. You might wanna make sure you have, move your, you can use your chairs if you need them to help you get up and down, but keep make sure they're not in your way. And then we are gonna to go to all fours. So if you know, you, if you're on a hard surface, you might wanna um, have a blanket under your knees or you can fold your mat, okay? I'm gonna go this way. So let's come to all hands and knees. And, and, so, and if you have wrist, sens wrist sensitivity, you can do fists. You can also do forearms. We're gonna to try to just do a little loading here. And we're gonna find those hands right underneath the shoulders and knees are underneath your hips. And just gently press the ground away. So push the ground away with your hands, push the ground away with your shins. And notice how that kind of lifts the body up. And from there, you're gonna keep that sense of lift. And I just want you to glide your body a little forward and back. So we go forward, and then we go back. And you have this little shift into the hands and then a shift onto the, uh, towards the hips. Think about keeping the body really long and then notice where the eyes are. Can the eyes slightly look forward the whole time? Let's do a few more, Rocky. Let's do one more. And then let's come to center, find neutral. I'd like everybody to have a little more weight in their shins. Take an inhale. On your exhale, curl pelvis under, dropping the head, look towards your belly, round your back. Press the ground away. We inhale, the pelvis goes up and back like we already learned. And then we roll through, opening the heart, eyes are slightly forward. We exhale round, pelvis curls. Head drops, look towards your belly, push the ground away. We inhale, roll through, tailbone lifts up, heart opens forward. Let's just do two more, exhale round. Can you feel your low back lift up to the sky? Inhale, extend. Can you feel your heart or your chest reach forward and through the arms? Good, and then let's go to neutral. Find your neutral spine and come down to your forearms. So we're gonna come down onto forearms, taking a little break from the hands, okay? And when we're on forearms, we're gonna slide our knees a little closer together. And here, again, let's right away, think about your forearms pushing the ground away a little bit. So we're gonna push the ground away, allowing ourselves to feel lifted. Chin is slightly towards your chest. Take an inhale and on our exhale, you're gonna slide your right leg behind you and then you're gonna lift it up. And I want you to lift from your glute. And so we're lifting the leg up from the leg itself. Keep a little bit of that belly lift here. So we have the long spine and we're just gonna hold an isometric. I want you to feel the back of your, your glute work, your leg work. This is a really whole body exercise. You'll feel the shoulders work. Find your breath. Can you hug that opposite hip into your body? One more breath here. 
Can you lift from the glute maybe a tad bit more? Can you reach your leg away from the body maybe a tad bit more? And then slowly lower the leg down and slide it in. Good. Just reset, push the ground away, chin to chest a little bit so the neck stays long. Body's easy, take the other leg, slide it long behind you. And then from your glute, lift your leg up. And then everybody notice, am I dumping in my arms? Can I slide back a little bit? So you might have to slide yourself back towards the center of the body so that we're not only feeling those arms. From that, reach through your toes, get the leg long away from you. Actively opening the front of the hip. Take a few breaths here. And then slowly lowering the leg down and sliding the leg in. Go ahead and come back up to hands and knees for a little, a, a lat stretch. So from this position, we're going to take our right hand and you're going to place it in front of your left fingertips. And then we're going to take a slide and you'll go to wherever feel, you feel the stretch first. We're going to slide the pelvis back away from our hands towards the right. The pelvis slides away from the hands. And you want to go going for a stretch underneath that armpit on the sides of the ribs. And then let's come forward back over the hands. Just load the hands a little bit and slide back again. Take your exhale as you slide back. We inhale, come over the hands. We exhale, slide back. Take your time. Feel that stretch in the side body. Hands resist the pelvis. One more time, we slide forward and then we slide back. And then come back to center. Take your hand, your right hand back under your, under your shoulder. And then the left hand is going to come in front of the right fingers. Body stays long, take an inhale. And on the exhale, now the pelvis slides back to the left. Inhale, we come over the hands, take your time. Exhale, we slide back away from the hand. Take a breath here, feel the stretch in the arm and the ribs. Coming forward and sliding back. One more time, coming forward and sliding back. And then come forward and let's go ahead and come off of hands and knees and come to sitting in a 90-90 in a, um, position. So the legs are in front of us. We're high on the sits bones. And my, if I'm too close, I'm going to feel pretty squished. So I'm going to take my legs so they're really at a long 90. So I can kind of get myself really tall on top of the sits bones. So if you rock a little side to side and you feel those bony line marks on your seat, those are your sits bones. We want to get right up on top of them. We're sitting right on top of mountains. And then from here, my hands are going to help me to draw myself up tall, my arms. Beautiful. And I'm going to inhale, and we're going to try that same thing we did on the chair. We're going to exhale, and we're going to think about, can I curl my pelvis? It's like a wheel, like I was rolling my pelvis under me. Come back into a little bit of a C curve. Can I curl, curl, curl? And then you'll notice once you're here, we'll pause, you'll notice that the ribs also get to slide back and that the whole spine is in this C curve. You're going to try to keep this shape and then you're going to bring bend the elbows and bring yourself back over the sits bones and then we lengthen back tall. So we'll take an inhale. On the exhale, see if you can curl pelvis leads the way. Can I round? I'm keeping long. I'm not collapsing. I'm curling a long capital C. Can I let my ribs go back? Because if my ribs could slide back and up the wall behind me, deep in the belly, you have your arms to kind of help support you. Take an inhale and then exhale. Pull with the elbows. Bring yourself back over the sits bones and we grow tall. We'll just do two more. Take an inhale. And on the exhale, curl back. Yes. 
curl the pot, even if it's small, can I just think about coming back? Maybe to imaginary you have um, pant pockets on the back of your pants and you're gonna sit into those pockets. Yes, and then pull yourself back up and grow tall. That looks good. Inhale tall. Last time, exhale, curl back. Pelvis moves under, you have your arms to help you. Feel your feet on the ground too. Feel your feet on the ground, yes. Good, and almost like you could open the front of your hips. And I feel the front of my hips open here. And then let your ribs go back behind you. Yep, there it is. And there's a nice stretch that happens. Take an inhale, as well as those abdominals kick on, right? Exhale, pull yourself up, and then nice and tall. So either using your hands or not, we're gonna roll ourselves back onto the mat. So some of us might take the arms forward, some of us might have the hands to the side. I'll demonstrate with hands um, to the side, or to actually let's have the hands to the back of the thighs. Some of you will have them forward, some of you will have them back here. Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate with my hands back here. So we inhale and we're gonna start the same way. We're gonna exhale, we're gonna start to curl back. I'm gonna slide my hands down the legs. I'm slowly but surely making my way to the ground. Just all the way down. Or you can roll to the side and bring yourself to your back as well, okay? But we're gonna bring ourselves to laying on our backs. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Once you're on the floor, feet are about, sits about hip width distance. Bring your awareness to your pelvis again and give me a few pelvic rocks here. So that pelvis is curling under you, flattening the back, and then the pelvis tips away and there creates an arch through the spine. So curl under, but think about moving very low in the body, the sits bones, and then tip the sits bones to the ground. Two more times, sits bones curl under, and then sits bones tilt away. One more time, the sits bone pelvis curls under the back, goes flush to the mat, and then goes away. And then we're gonna curl the pelvis under, bringing the back flush to the mat, and you're gonna keep that imprinted spine. So we're gonna work a little bit with the back imprinted into the floor, okay? And then from here, Without changing your back, can you bring the right leg up tabletop? And then can you keep your back flush to the mat? And can you bring the other leg up tabletop? Good. And then can you take one leg down? And then the other leg down. So back is flush, inhale. Let's add the breath, exhale, lift the right leg. Take an inhale, then exhale, lift the left leg. So we'll move on the exhale. Both legs in tabletop. Now we'll inhale one leg down, and we'll exhale other leg down. Good, one more time slow like this. Back is flush to the mat, inhale, exhale to lift, pause and inhale. And exhale, lift the other leg. Let's keep the legs in tabletop. Can you draw your, bring your legs all the way together, knees touch, and then take the legs open wide, like a butterfly, and then bring the legs together, they touch, and then we open the legs wide. And we're closing, bring the legs together, and then open the legs. Think, think about energy going out the knees as you move. Knees reach away. And then as you come back, knees reach to the sky to bring your back. One more time, knees reach away. And then knees come back. And then once you bring your legs back to touch, hold them there. And then one leg down and other leg down. Find your feet on the ground. Let's also feel our arms on the ground. Arms are by your sides. Press the arms into the floor and press your shoulders back into the floor. And then you're gonna press the feet down and lift your pelvis up to a bridge. So we're gonna go into what's a neutral bridge. So my upper back is working. I have the arms pressing. My shoulder blades are pressing down into the mat. And I'll feel a little work up in the upper part of my back. And I'll feel some work in my legs. 
and I'll feel work in the low glutes. And we wanna make sure we stay out of the low back. So if you feel your low back, I encourage you to lower down a little bit and curl the pelvis under you a little bit. So that pelvic tuck, lifting the front of your hips up. Pause, take another breath here. And then let's try to do a rolling bridge down. So on your next exhale, start to roll through the spine, lengthening and stretching your spine down to the ground. One precious vertebra at a time, all the way down. When you arrive, see if you can relax the body. And then we take an inhale, find the arms, find your feet, press down with the body to lift the pelvis up. So the arms press down, the feet press down, and the pelvis lifts up into your bridge, good. Take a breath or two here. Feeling strong through the legs, feeling the arms press strong and the upper back working a little bit. Take an inhale and then exhale, roll through the spine and roll yourself back down, lengthening and stretching your spine down to the ground. Inhale, relax at the bottom. We're gonna do two more. Exhale, arms press, feet press, lift straight up. Hips lift up. Finding the legs to do the lifting. If you feel your low back, I want you to lower down and curl the pelvis under you a little bit. Take a few breaths here. Feel the big toes on the ground. Feel your heels on the ground. On your next exhale, roll down. Lengthen through the spine, reaching your spine towards your heels. Reaching, reaching, reaching. Inhale, relax at the bottom. Big breath. Exhale, last time, press down with your arms, press down with your feet, lift up. Feel how the mid back is working, those shoulder blades are on your spine. Feel how the low glutes and hamstrings, the back of your legs are turned on. You might even feel a stretch on the front of your hips. And you can lower down if it feels like too much. So take a big inhale and a big exhale. And then inhale again. And on your exhale, start to roll back down. Stretching your spine to the ground. And once you've made, met the floor with your pelvis, bring one leg into your body and then the other leg, giving yourself a little hug. And then you're gonna a little bit of a rock side to side, just massaging out that low back onto the ground. Feel the surface of your back on the floor. See if you can just roll along that low back. All right, and then come back to center. Just take one leg down and then the other. You're gonna interlace your hands and place them behind the base of your head. And elbows are gonna lift up towards the sky. And then just notice where your shoulders are. Are their shoulders up to your ears? Can you slide your shoulders away from your ears and feel like your armpits were hugging your ribs? So the armpits hug the rib cage. The head is gonna be supported by your hands. So let your head feel heavy in your hands. You're gonna take an inhale. And on the exhale, we're gonna lift up the head and shoulders off the ground and we're gonna to look towards our bellies. Look at the belly button. Now notice if your head tensed, if the neck tensed. Can I drop my head into my hands? Give me a little chin tuck and then find the ribs sliding towards the hips to bring you up and then you just roll back down, lower back down. So take an inhale, chin slides to your chest a little bit, a little bit of a chin tuck, and then you exhale, lifting up. Lift up from the rib cage. Your back of your ribs meet the floor to bring you up. And then roll back down. Inhale, let the exhale bring you up. Feel like you're being brought up off the floor, even if it's small, maybe it's a teeny lift, but can you find your abdominals, the core of the body to lift you even if it's a small amount. Keep the head supported by your hands and then down you go. Give me two more here. Exhale to lift you up, your, 
lift up. And then back down. Last one. And we inhale, we exhale to lift up. Up, 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 up. Take an inhale here. And exhale, roll yourself back down. All right, from here, lengthen the arms by your sides, and then you're gonna roll onto your right side. So you might, well, you face me, so you may have to, um, and then you're gonna lay on your right side of your body. The legs are gonna be stacked. Your bottom arm is long under you. Top hand gonna be behind your head. For a little rotation. So from here, we're gonna open up, we're gonna let that left elbow open and we're gonna roll back any amount, starting to open up through the chest and the upper back. And then we're gonna roll back and we roll towards the right to where our, our elbow might, our left elbow might touch the floor. And then we exhale, we roll open. If this is too much in anybody's like neck, you need some support, you can always place a blanket under your head. And then we're gonna roll forward. Then we exhale to roll open, head rolls, chest rolls, stretch the chest open. Feel that stretch in the front of your body, maybe even in the shoulder. And we roll back. Let's do two more. Opening. And back. And find your breath. Exhale, open. And then come back. Pause here. Top hand's going to come down on the floor. You're going to just start to press yourself up. Take your time. And we're going to just go to the other side. So we'll swivel around to do our rotation on this other side. So if you need a blanket under your neck you can, or a pillow, you can do that for a little neck support. Or we can let the head hang. Your bottom arm is straight under you. And your top hand is behind your head. Good. And let's go forward first this time. So let's take that forward roll, rolling forward towards the floor. And then we're gonna open out, elbow, chest, head, rolls us open. And you might notice, and then we come back, that one side's you know, a little tighter than the other. Roll forward, and then roll open. Allow yourself to relax into the stretch a little bit. Allow the body to feel, to feel fluid and easy. Inhale, we exhale, open. Let's do one more here. Rolling forward and then rolling open. And then the next time you roll forward, we're going to take our top hand and place it on the floor in front of us and press ourselves up. Good. And then just come to any kind of comfortable seat. You can sit on a blanket if, if, if you need to. Let's go ahead and sit up nice and tall. And we'll bring our hands to our knees and we're just going to finish with a little breath. So you're going to close your eyes. And we're going to breathe in through the nose for three counts and out through the nose for three counts. And we'll do this just for a few rounds. And so settle into the body. The body is tall. You can always sit in your chair if that feels better. And then we're going to start to breathe in through the nose, inhaling for one, two, three. And you'll exhale out the nose for one, two, three. Inhale, one two, three, exhale, one, two, three, inhale, one, two, three, exhale, one, two, three, do a couple, two more rounds on your own.
And then once you finish that last round, just let your breath come back to, to its natural rhythm. See if you can feel your breath in your body and identify where it is. Is it in the belly, the chest, or the whole torso? All right, thank you guys for coming to class. Hope that felt good. We had a kind of a slow flow today. Hopefully that was what you needed. Thanks, Leah, that felt great. Thank you. Thanks, Todd. See you in a few.